Hi Robin with OxyDry and uh, today uh, as you can see I'm in my garage and um, I've been working on my uh, second uh, rabbit centaur rotary as you can see sitting right here. This was the first one which I showed the other day I was cleaning with it and uh, absolutely delightful machine it really is it's amazing what a difference uh, each of these machines have for their characteristics. Um, I do have my my um, logo on there now obviously and I plan to put the set I have a set logo resized for going right in the center there that'll be happening um, and um, on Monday uh, I will be um, using this again hopefully I'll have another couple of videos for you guys to watch um, now the other day I was when I showed the video I used this pad driver right here this is actually a high-speed pad driver and you can see it has a rubber a rubber donut in there which gives it a, a bit of a flexing ability I guess um, and it gives a very very smooth ride <laughs> I guess but there's the 13 inch pad driver which I haven't actually used yet and then of course we have the that is a 15 uh, that's a 17 and I have a 16 as well actually, actually the 16 is actually on here right now and uh, this is the 19 inch pad driver so this machine will run all these pad drivers without a problem and um, the splash guard attaches onto the machine and it disconnects with these th there's three turny knuckles whatever um, that drops off or you can just have it float and um, now uh, and with the big wheel kit that I converted over from my other MD 180 over there there's my one I've been using right there but I took the wheel kit off and, and amazingly enough it fits but it doesn't quite line up right the um, the wheels the 10 inch wheels are interfering with the uh, splash guard so I wouldn't be able to run the splash guard although I don't have to um, I still would like to have the ability to do that so uh, I'm gonna get um, I'm taking it on Monday to um, the place where I had these um, the, the bracket made up and I'm going to have them make up a couple more brackets so they just have to do a slight change reposition where the axle goes through and then it'll lift the wheel up slightly or reposition it anyway and then I'll be able to put the uh, splash guard on so that the machine will be back to being 100% functional the way it was intended to be which I like um, anyway uh, and I plan to I'm gonna probably put this tank on over here because this has this has the light on it but I have to first of all I have to um, I get I have to get into the back here and um, um, splay not splice in but attach to the there's a, 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 a wiring block in there and I can attach um, the wires in there and then I'll have it come out here and then I'll have the wiring set up and, um, and then the way I want to have it is so that when I plug it in the light will actually turn on although it does have actually an indicator light up here anyway but nevertheless I prefer it that way um, you know if you're you're wanting to find a plug and you're across the room you plug it in turn around and look and, and the light turns on you can see it that's that's a nice feature to have but anyway if you go back to the first video where I talked about these two machines where I first showed them um, and I said um, uh, I kind of introduced them this was the second machine which was absolutely filthy and here it is and amazingly although it was terribly dirty compared to the other one which wasn't that bad this has been cleaning up much easier um, it's looking fantastic this is a newer machine actually I think it was 2017 if I'm well there's a date on there 2017 -08. that one doesn't have a date on it but I know it's older because it has the handle release down below whereas this has the handle release up top which I'll show you in a sec and uh, anyway and here's the the motor cap which again cleaned up and looks wonderful and it just kind of slides in place like so look at that just have to put the screws in place and and then connect up that wire there actually hooks up to this little light which lights up when the carbon brushes need to be replaced i'll show you that actually here's the carbon brushes now the way that these um two-speed machines work is they have um, they have winding for low speed and a winding for high speed and then you have four carbon brushes 
and you can see they're right here. Now their uh, centaur says that they're oh, there's some moisture there. Centaur says that their carbon brushes um, last ten years, and um, I have no reason to doubt that. But I guess it depends on uh, how much you're using it. But anyway, the carbon brushes would be very, you know, relatively inexpensive and easy to replace. They just unscrew when you pop them out and. I've replaced them on, I actually replaced them, I, I had one of these machines about 25 years ago and I actually did wear, wear the carbon brushes out and I had to replace them and it was not a big deal. And now this one also has another interesting thing which I was, I'm not sure if it's going to be any, any use to me but this device actually attaches right here and the idea is that when you're doing baseboards it has a baseboard cleaning attachment you can get for the machine and this they call it the scrub jay and it's kind of it can, it can dribble the water onto the onto the um, side as you're going along a baseboard and cleaning it i don't it, <laughs> i won't ever be cleaning any baseboards so i don't care about that but maybe it'll have some function i don't know if i'll ever use it but i have it if i wish to use it so uh, and here's the um here's the handle and of course as i did mention the other day the handle pops off. It just um, attaches with these um, uh, pins and I actually was going to put it on. I think I was going to show that to you. So the tank cleaned up. The lid was, this thing is just filthy, but it cleaned up pretty darn well. Um, this one has the handle release up top and here's the arrangement and apparently you can, if you have an older Centaur, the, you can order up the, um, I guess it's the bar and then you just reposition the uh, pinch lock and uh, and then it uh, you can convert your older center over to a top uh, top handle release if you wish so we'll get this up out of the way uh, everything cleaned up uh, really well I mean Actually, I don't think this machine has had a lot of use. It was in a... <coughs> it was at a homeless shelter. <coughs> so it wasn't a, you know, a janitorial company taking it out and cleaning, you know, big contracts every day. So I, I, I don't think it was actually used a lot. Which is nice. So I think it's got... I think it's got low miles. You know, a little old lady from Pasadena. Pin goes in place, and it goes all the way across. Of course, so I'll do that in a sec. This one drops down. So this is going to be really handy for those of you guys out there who are thinking, "Well, I need a machine, but I, I only have a car. You know, I, I need to put it into the back of my uh, my hatchback or whatever." It's a little bit stiff, so I'm going to give it out of persuasion. There we go. Uh, so, and then the, the detent pin comes through. So anyway, there you go. That's uh, that's one of the nice things about this machine. Um, the handle detaches. Not too many machines do that. I know the the swirly does. I, I think it does anyway. So that's nice. And the swirly is a great choice. Um, but um, it's a 15 inch and that's what it'll remain whereas this goes up to a 19 inch um, and has a two speed and I'm not saying this word is not I'm if you if you're wanting you know at the beginning of your business or whatever uh, swirly is a great machine I've always been recommending this swirly to anybody who says you know what's a great machine to start off with and I'd say yep I would get a swirly but uh, I'm beyond that level I guess you could say I wanted um, something that's going to give me the versatility uh, and this certainly does because uh, as you shot, saw if you watched the video I did the other day I had it cleaning in a in a home and and there you go it's basically a 15 inch machine but when I want to I can run it with a very large pad driver up to 19 inches if I'm doing a big commercial job um, you can fly with a 19 inch uh, 300 rpm machine yeah this is a two speed I mentioned that, didn't I? <laughs> anyway, I'm really, I mean, I got such an incredible deal. I got these both of these machines 
for six fifty. And uh, this is a machine that sells over three thousand dollars in Canada. I think they're over three thousand dollars in the states as well. Um, CentaurMachines.com is where you want to go to find out information for them in the U.S. I guess. And in Canada, the distributor is actually CleanQuip. I don't know if you can buy them directly from Centaur or not, but CleanQuip in uh, Toronto, I guess there, Ontario, whatever. Um, they um, they do sell them. And there's a couple of ladies there that run that business. Two sisters, actually. So, uh, anyway, I just thought you might find that interesting. Uh, things are coming along. So, tomorrow, this one will be going... Or not tomorrow. Tomorrow, Sunday. On Monday, hopefully, I'll be able to get over to the uh, machine shop, the uh, fabricating place. And they can make up another bracket for this so that I can put the big wheels on here. Um, and that's the, basically the only thing I need to do. Plus, we'll switch over the tank. This one will go on here. I'll leave it. Or actually, I guess, hmm, good question. Which one am I going to use? I don't know. Hmm. We'll see what happens. Um, I do have options, so it's nice to have options. But um, on, on Monday, this will be the machine I'll be using. And hopefully I'll have some video for that, uh, showing that in action. And uh, maybe we'll uh, have a chance to try the 13-inch pad driver. And by the way, I wanted to point something out. There's the pad driver, and of course, the actual part that's on the pressing down of the pad is where all the weight of the machine goes down. Same with this. Now, that means that... <laughs> here's something to ponder on. This machine weighs 77 pounds, and you put a gallon in there, there's another about 10 pounds. You put another gallon in, say you have two gallons in there, there's another 20 pounds. So we're talking about 97, almost 100 pounds. Now, do your calculations, boys and girls. But if I'm running with a 17-inch pad driver, calculate how many pounds per square inch that 100 pounds is going to push press down onto the carpet with a machine like this. And then compare what it would be for 15-inch or 13-inch. So in other words, the smaller the pad driver, the more pressure that you're putting onto the carpet per square inch, more scrubbing action, more cleaning power, and you still haven't even added weights. And this machine, by the way, they do have weights for it. Although I would never recommend putting weights on for a carpet, unless maybe you're doing a really tight weave commercial type carpet like what I'm standing on here, maybe in the case like that. But I think they have, I think they're 20 or 30 or maybe even a 40 pound weight that you can get for these things. And it just clips on like a horseshoe shape. So, anyway, uh, this machine also will, uh, if you really want to see what these machines are capable of doing, go onto the website and check it out because it really is a fantastic machine. Really, it is. I've known about them for many years. I just, uh, you know, like I said, I owned one 25 years ago, but uh, yeah, I'm back. Back to the, back to the, um, using the Centaur. It's, it's, it's the winner for sure. And it's gonna. It is the official oxy, or not the oxy dry. The it's the ex official set carpet cleaning machine from now on. And I just have to put the logo on there. Uh, the set logo. And I got my oxy dry logo up here. And I turned out that the deco that I had made up, which I put on the front of my other machine over there, fits on here. It's a perfect, like it was made. It's an It's um, fate, I guess you could say. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'm really looking forward to using this thing again on Monday. So we'll, I'll keep you posted and hopefully I'll have some video for you. So anyway, thank you for watching and have a good day.